All right, so let's take a look inside of Logic here and go through the different tones I got with the high watt amp. So we'll start with the left rhythm. So let's take a second and listen to some of that isolated. All right, so it's got like a um, very crunch, not very high gain at all. It's got some bit of a mid range to it that's really nice. Let's take a look at the plug in here and I'll kind of walk you through how I got this sound. I'm a very simple guy when it comes to tone. Um, I'm kind of more of a plug and play guy with real amps, so I don't do a whole lot of tweaking. Um, but usually you can get a pretty good sound that way as well. So here's kind of my settings here. I'm plugged into the normal channel. My normal volume, a little past noon around one o'clock. Bass also around one o'clock treble around one o'clock as well, but slightly backed. My middle is around noon. My presence is like um, 10 o'clock, 10.30. Yeah, 10 o'clock, my bad, <laughs> or 11. Uh, my, master, my master volume is a little past noon. So everything's pretty much the same. Right, there's not a lot, not, not a lot to it there. Um, the cab, just a stock high watt cab. I'm using a uh, Dynamic 57, so an SM57 on the left speaker and a condenser 87 on the right speaker, as well as condenser 87s for the room mics. And the speaker is just a stock high watt speaker, right? I think it sounds great the way it is, so I didn't feel like I needed to change it. I'm using the bridge pickup on my, on my Strat, which is a Seymour Duncan JB, right? I have a HSS Strat, so the humbucker and the bridge. So that's the Seymour Duncan JB. Seymour Duncan JB. Let's listen to it one more time. Isolated. Let's take a look at the B section with some chords. Right, very great sound, really thick, but present. All right, so that's the left rhythm. Let's take a look at the right. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, let's take a look. I'm using the bright sound, the bright setting here, instead of the the normal. Got this, you know, got the settings kind of a lot different. So my bright volume around three o'clock, bass around two, treble around nine o'clock, middle around one o'clock, presence around ten, master volume around three. Same cab, same mic setup. And I'm using the high amp stock uh, speaker as well. It's a very cool sound. And this one, I was, and I'm using the, the bridge in the middle pickup here. So the Seymour Duncan JB mixed with the, uh, what is it? Um, I have the Fender, Cu Fender Custom Shop 69 in the neck in the middle. So this is a combination of the Seymour Duncan JB and the middle pickup. All right, so it's got a little bit more clarity to it using that middle pickup. Put both of them together. Right, you get one side, the left side being a little bit darker, right side being a little bit more bright and present. All right, it's a very full, very rich sound. All right, so the lead guitar, we just got these octave chords here. Let's take a listen to this, isolated.
All right, so I'm kind of using a similar thing to the rhythm guitar. I'm using the, the normal setting. Um, here are the settings. And I'm doing um, this overdrive, this boss overdrive here. So I got my tone a little bit under noon, distortion around three o'clock and level around three o'clock as well. My cab, exact same setup as the rhythm guitar. And then I believe it's all the same thing on the, on the right speaker. Yeah, same thing, just doubled it. So you put both um, left and right rhythm together. Along with the rhythm. And everything together. All right, this thing, it's a very rich sound um, for the rhythm guitars, especially. So you got one sound of the rhythm being more, a little bit darker, a little bit more mid-rangey, and the, the other one being a little bit more bright and present. I think in comparison, they're both very cool on its own, but when you put them together, they sound very full. All right, and that's all I did for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have plenty more like this coming out every week, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell as well to be notified when new videos do come out. And if you enjoyed the music in this video, I have lots of instrumental guitar music available on all streaming platforms. So I'll put links in the description below for you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.